Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. So, a lot of people wonder, and it's a very healthy thing to wonder. In fact, to go even far enough and say, it's a necessary, obligated thing to wonder. What will the days of Mashiach be like? What will the experience be like? What will it, what will it be all about? And the reason why this is so important is because we learn in Hasidus, actually, the Rebbe Shab explains that a necessary component to really the, to, that sets the stage for the coming of Mashiach is to anticipate, to be excited for the coming of Mashiach, to, to, to live your life now in a way where, where like a glimpse of Mashiach is already here, that we're entering the days of Mashiach by, by conducting ourselves in a way where we're, we're ready for, for the days of Mashiach, we're, we're, so to speak, proving to Hashem that we want Him to bring Mashiach. We're putting pressure on Hashem to bring Mashiach. And also, by wondering what the days of Mashiach will be like, it, it causes you to thirst for it more, and it makes it so that when Mashiach does come, it'll be an even greater pleasure to you because you were wondering, you are waiting for it. It's like when your parents, a, parents, a parent tells a child, I'm going to buy you a gift for your birthday. So the child... The longer he, the longer the child waits for the gift, the more he's excited, and the buildup, the stronger. Meaning, the earlier the parents tell the child about the gift, the greater the pleasure the child will have when the gift comes. And interestingly, we actually have the ability to bring Mashiach quicker. And the more we yearn for the coming Mashiach, the more we desire Hashem to bring the Mashiach, the more we draw the Mashiach into the world. So, it's a very beautiful idea. And actually, the Rebbe explains that it's so important to speak about Mashiach that in the olden days, like earlier days, the topic of Mashiach, of course, was always a central component of Judaism, but it wasn't always spoken about at length. As time went on, especially within the past couple hundred years, it increased, 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 until the Rebbe said, now that in every encounter you have with another person, you should mention the coming of Mashiach. Every gathering you have, Every Torah class, every meal that you eat with other people, there should be the mention of the coming of Mashiach. Because this arouses within everyone's soul a yearning for the ultimate purpose of creation. Because as we know, the whole purpose of the world from the get-go was for the end result, the coming of Mashiach. When you build a house, you don't have in mind just the, 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 just the, the floors and the, and the foundation. No, when you think of the house, you think of the full building of the house. Okay, you have to start with this, then you have to do that, then you have to do that. But from the get-go, you have the idea of the final job done, the final completion of the job, the end result. That's your first thought. That's your. That's the really the goal. So to Hashem, when He creates the world, yes, there's different stages that we've gone through. But the purpose is the coming of Mashiach. And what is the coming of Mashiach? What is so special about this era? This will be an era where the entire world will be aware and experience God's revelation. The whole world, from, from, from tzaddik, from leader, from great rabbi, to young child, everyone will experience prophecy even greater than the level that Moshe Rabbeinu experienced, than Moses experienced. People will be able to see Hashem with their eyes, maybe today. So to understand this idea better, to understand just the great magnitude of what we're going to experience, generally there are three different levels in light. Light, we refer to Or in, in Hebrew, in Hasidus. Or refers to revelation. There's many different, you know, if you go into Hasidic encyclopedias, there's hundreds of pages just on the topic of what does it mean, the light. Generally there's Or and Kalim. There's, there's the light and the vessels. God, when He wants to reveal Himself, it's in a way of He reveals light, but it has to be in a vessel, so He has to, so the light has to express itself in a certain vessel. So God wants to reveal Himself, so He either reveals it through, let's say, in a way of kindness or a way of strictness. So they're both the kindness and the strictness are the vessels for the way in which God wants to reveal something to the other. And these are the ten spherot, are the vessels, the, the kalim, the spherot which are light in the vessels. God expresses himself in a way of kindness. He expresses himself in a way of strictness, in a way of beauty, in a way of wisdom, in a way of understanding. These are all, and, and these are the inner fabrics of our reality. It's very, very deep concepts that 
person must study because they're spiritually it's spiritually reviving, rejuvenating. It arouses one's soul to connect to God in an exciting way when you learn about these exciting concepts. And these are the inner fabrics of reality. Basically, Hashem creates the world, this world, and all the worlds above it, all the levels of reality through the ten spherot, descending. And basically, as we go down in the world, Hashem's light becomes more hidden and more concealed until we have this physical world where at times a person could even find God completely hidden, seemingly. But we know that in truth, God is as much here as He is in the highest level of heaven. And from God's perspective, there's no hiddenness at all. And through our service of Hashem, in the days of Mashiach, in this physical world, we will experience an infinitely greater godly revelation than even in the, what the highest level of heaven experiences right now. Because the whole purpose was for this world. So generally, there's three levels of light. There's the what God reveals to us that we can grasp. When we understand a concept, we grasp that idea. That's something that we have hold of. Like, we know that Shabbos is the seventh day of the week. So we can grasp that idea that Shabbos is the seventh day of the week. We grasp it. Then there's the middle level where it's a deep idea, deep, a high level of light. That in theory, you can get to grasp it, but you haven't grasped it yet. If you study and you learn and you have the proper teacher, eventually you'll come to grasp this concept. It's a higher level. You can potentially grasp it, but you haven't grasped it yet. Then there's the level of light that no matter what you do, you won't be able to grasp it. It's out of your range of grasp. It is not in your hands. It's not something that you could potentially grasp. It is completely beyond. That is what God is going to reveal to us in the days of Mashiach. The level that is completely beyond us. Not that through, through our own service, yes, it is all God bringing Mashiach is dependent on our service. But this level, through our own service on our own, we wouldn't be able to understand these deep ideas. This level of God's revelation, it would be too much for us to handle on our own. We'd have no relationship with it at all. It would blow us out of existence to say the least. It's a level that is such a lofty, such a godly, divine beautiful, beyond words, you know, it's a, um, such a magnificent godly revelation that we wouldn't be able to even have any relation to it. We wouldn't even relate to it. That is what Hashem's going to reveal in the days of Mashiach and we will relate to it. Meaning something that on its own has no relationship to us, it's completely beyond us. Obviously it has a relationship to our soul, but something that us in a physical body would never according to nature, be able to ever grasp this level, never be able to appreciate this divine revelation. That is what we will experience in the days of Mashiach. And just to give you a, a little drop of how great this level is, we learn that there are an infinite level of heavens. The lowest level of heaven, one moment there is a greater pleasure than all the pleasure experienced in this physical world of all time, of all the people together combined. That is nothing compared to one moment in the lowest level of heaven. The lowest level of heaven is the same difference of that between the level above it and so on and so forth for an infinite number of levels. And in the days of Mashiach, we will experience an infinitely greater level of divine revelation than even the highest level of heaven. We will experience what Hashem experiences in His own presence. The, the level that Hashem experiences when He's to Himself that is what he's going to reveal to us, which is the greatest pleasure possible. It will be the pleasure that we, Hashem will reveal to us, the pleasure that we cause him when we serve him. So may today be the day that we experience this, this tremendous reality that has been waiting for us all along. May Hashem bless you all in every single thing you do. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this message to help spread the Torah, be involved in, 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 in channeling the divine light into the world. Anyone you speak to, speak about the coming Mashiach. You are a soldier of Hashem. And when you become a soldier of Hashem, the soldier goes in the name of the king. Soldier is a representation, is literally a, an extension of the king. So let us accept Hashem's reign over us with joy. And may today be the day that becomes open and revealed throughout the entire world. Thank you.